Hello and congratulations on your purchase of the R2020 Skeleton Rack System, the lightweight, easy to assemble rack with a 500 by 500 footprint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the rack and get it ready for your install. Okay, so you've got your delivery, you've unpacked your goods. It's a good idea to check that you've got all the correct components. Now here's what you should have. You should have a top piece, just a plain panel, a bottom piece, that'll have the four fixing holes for casters in each corner, as well as the bushed thread for stabilizing feet. You'll have four rack rail sections, which are all identical, so you can use them in any corner, it doesn't matter. And there is an optional caster set available as well. They don't come as standard, but we recommend using them to make sure the rack can be moved easily for maintenance. These casters will have two braked and two swivel. And of course, you'll always get the necessary fixings you need to assemble the rack. You don't get an Allen key, so you will need your own Allen key to assemble this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna show you how to fix the rack rails to the base panel here. The rack comes with screws, which have a four mil Allen key head to them. But if you wanna use your own M6 screws with a cross head or posi drive head, then that's absolutely fine, they'll work as well. But if you're gonna use the screws supplied, then you will need a four mil Allen key to fit them. Okay, so I'm gonna take a rack rail section. They're all identical, so it doesn't matter which one I use. And I'm gonna line it up to the base panel. Now the holes here at the bottom of the rack rail will line up to the threaded holes at the bottom of the base panel. So you fit them there and you screw them in. The threaded holes don't need any nuts, so you just screw them in and that's it. And it's the same process for the other three corners. We've now got all four rack rails fitted to the base panel. What we need to do now is fit the top panel to the top of the rails. And it works in exactly the same way. Just line up the screws to the bushed holes on the panel and screw them in. Top panel's now fitted and I'm gonna show you how to fit the casters. The optional caster set will come with two braked casters and two swivel casters. And it will also come with the fixings you need to fit them to the bottom of the rack. You will need a number 10 spanner to fit these. So to fit the casters, we're gonna tip the rack on its side to expose the bottom. On the base, you can see there's four holes in each corner to fit the casters to. You simply take one of the casters, the braked ones should be in opposite corners because that means it will be more stable when in position. Offer it up to the bottom of the rack, make sure the holes are matching, place one of the screws through. You might also like to place all four through at the same time and that will just keep it in place while you find your uh, you find your nuts to fit to the bottom. Okay, you've got your screws in place and you just wanna thread the nylock nuts on, just hand tight. Take your number 10 spanner and just tighten them up as tight as they'll go. And then you repeat that for the other four screws and you repeat that for the other four corners. Okay, all four casters have been fitted and the rack's now ready to go. We've got one complete R2020 skeleton rack system ready for install. Details on where you can buy accessories for this rack can be found in the description below the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.